Hey, what's up, y'all? Coach Rock here from Revenge Basketball, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a little progression drill that will help you improve your shooting off the dribble. So if you're a point guard, honestly, if you're a player in today's game, you got to be able to shoot the ball well off of the dribble if you want to be a great scorer, if you really want to get PT these days because the game has changed. And if you think about players like, let's say, Steph Curry, right, that's one of the things that really solidifies his spot as the greatest shooter of all time, not just because he can shoot well off the catch, shoot well when he's wide open, but he can also shake and bake and then hit the shot. But in order to get, not saying we're gonna to get to his level, but in order to improve our shooting off the dribble, it's best to take it slow, progression by progression. And that's what this drill is gonna help you do. All right, so for this drill, I'll be at the three point line, but you can start wherever you feel comfortable. If you don't feel comfortable shooting threes off the dribble, then you can start at the foul line. Start wherever you feel comfortable, where you're not really straining yourself. I want this to feel smooth, feel like it's your regular shot. Um, you could be at the college three. You could be, and it doesn't really matter where you start. Just start where you feel comfortable. But eventually, of course, you want to be able to get to the three-point line and maybe even further outside the three-point line because if you can shoot off the dribble from deep, it really makes you a threat from anywhere on the court, kind of how Steph Curry is, and then the whole game court opens up for your team because your guy has to guard you further out which really opens a lot of space up in the half court so that's just a note um, for just for you in the future as you continue to improve this try to move back further and further so this progression there's three parts of the progression all right part one all we're going to be doing is stationary and then taking a dribble and you can move you can take a, a like a little step just to get your rhythm um, because all shooting off the dribble is really rhythm. You're never in a game and just go like this. So everything's a rhythm. So just take like a, what I'll call a rhythm dribble here and get up a few reps. You can do different spots. I'm just gonna do this one spot for purposes of this video. But what I recommend is that you do your traditional five spots if you want. Um, and again, you could do them at whatever range that you want. And you want to be doing reps off of both hands. Now, not shooting with both hands, but what I mean is taking the dribble off of each hand. So that way you get good at hitting the shot off your right hand dribble and hitting the shot off your left hand dribble. So that's what the first progression. Um, let's get into some reps to see what it would look like. So again, you would be here. Just take a little dribble to kind of get your rhythm. And then you're shooting. And you would want to do the same thing with your right hand. So just get a little rhythm dribble, hit your shot. So that's progression number one. Progression number two is where we start getting a little more movement. So now what you're going to do, same thing, you're going to go to your left and to your right. You always want to get reps on both, both hands. Um, but you're going to be taking a dribble and stepping forward. So not just a little step to get your rhythm, but this time an actual kind of pull up. All right, so if you're a right-handed shooter and you're going right, you're here, opposite foot first, then your strong foot. And when you're going left, strong foot first, then your weak foot in the back or off foot um, follows that up. All right, so this is progression two. All right, so now we're gonna get into, <clears throat> so now we're gonna get into progression number three. Now progression number three, what we're doing here is we're kind of mixing it up a little. We're gonna take the ball, so you're doing a cross body dribble, cross body dribble. I learned that dribble when I was training Tyler Uless. He actually taught me that uh, dribble and it's like one of my favorite dribbles to do now. So we're here, cross body, going back between your legs, boom, boom, and then your hezzy pulling. So that's off your left hand. Right hand would be the same thing. Start with it here, cross body, 
boom, hezzy pull. So here you're taking two dribbles and this is gonna just help you build that rhythm. So when you're in the game and you're gonna do hezzy pulls or whatever you're gonna do, it'll start to feel more natural as you get more reps in, all right? So cross body, then between back and then shooting. So cross body between, hezzy, and then you're pulling. Same thing, other side. So I'm starting from this side, cross, boom, and then pulling. So cross body, and then hitting that hezzy pull. So of course, those are the only three progressions that I have scheduled for you. Of course, you could do more. You could have another progression where, let's say, um, like if I was just thinking out loud and I had a player and I was like, all right, let's make this a little harder. What I would do is probably have some sort of action set up. Like let's pretend you're coming off the pick and roll at the top, man goes behind or you get the mismatch and then you get your shot off. You could add that, but really, if you notice that movement I did at the end when I was setting up my hezzy pool, we kind of already did that with, with progression three. So you could take it to the next level, especially if like you know your offense, like let's say you know within your offense, you run a certain play with a pick for you and you know you get a mismatch. Like if you can really, that's the next progression I would say is isolate to real game situations that you know you're going to have. But if you're just working out this summer, and you're just playing every day, you don't really have any plays because you're just playing pickup, you're just working on your game, then I think you could just go up to progression three and put more focus on trying to extend your range with this. So get to the point where, I mean, you can get to the NBA three and do it easy. Get to the point where maybe you could come out here, which would be pretty tough, um, where you could come out here and do the same progression that we did and do that effortlessly. And when you get to that level, then you really become a threat anywhere on the court. So um, definitely add this progression drill to your training. If you found this video helpful and you're looking to take your game to the next level, then scroll down to the comments, click that first link in the comments. That's gonna take you to a page, a guide, where I show you what you need to do to become a lights out shooter in real games right now. We know that shooting is probably, it has to be the most important skill in basketball, right? You gotta be able to score points to win games. So this free guide will definitely help you take your game to the next level, become a bigger threat in real games. If you liked the video, do me a big favor, hit the thumbs up for me, comment below, let me know what else you need help with. Last but not least, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so you never miss another video. Until next time, I'll see you then.